welcome to a new walkthrough. I am Izzy Noodles and we are doing Ayutthaya 2. I was so excited to see the release of this one because I assumed there would be no part 2 after teasing it at part 1 and waiting 13 years if I recall correctly. So the initial release of this part 2 was quite a tricky game and has since had some bugs and other things ironed out. So I'll likely talk about some of the differences as we go along. This that I am playing is a patched version 2. So I'm actually not sure if the original version is still available to download, but in my opinion it would make an interesting hard mode version. But anyway, let's hop on in. Thailand beneath the ancient chemist city of Ayutthaya. So just as we left off we dropped down into the water but unlike before we were kind of teased with some spooky themes before so there was a monster just around the corner it showed us but not this time so there's no spooky theme it's all very different. So this spider is gonna come through the wall just there or maybe through the door. Sometimes it comes through sometimes it doesn't. Okay, so the main goal is get this door open. So the only thing we can do is come around and shoot the rubble. There's this here which looks like a button, but it's not. So inside is a med pack. So the only thing we can do now, just jump up to here. We're going to jump across to the other side. Okay, so just a standing jump here. And then swing on over, you might want to veer a little bit to the right to avoid hitting the column. And then shoot that rubble out of the way and then easy peasy do a running jump. It seems like the barrier gets in the way, but it doesn't, so you can easily get across. And then as you can see from here, you just need to shimmy around and then we can pull up. Here we go, and then we can pull this lever. Okay, so it's not showing us what it's done, but it has opened that door. Okay, so as we step through, there will be a dart trap. For the sake of my health, I'm going to crawl underneath, so the darts aren't poisonous. But I'm doing no meds. So I want to save as much health as I can, mostly for the boss. The boss can be pretty tough. So here, uh, we have a spike trap. So we don't want to climb up here, but we can press down. There's a new move. We can hop back to here and we have what looks like a jade dragon. So I think that's the lighting. Once we pick this up, this uh -huh. is gold. So if we have a look at it in the inventory, TR25 golden dragon, golden dragon from Xion. So because this game was released for uh, Tomb Raider 25, the anniversary, it's got some cool Easter eggs in uh, sort of, you know, kind of to remember the other games. So that's really cool. So that's just an Easter egg. It's not a secret. There are secrets to find as well, but they're kind of like additional fun items to find. But now we want to go this way and then head up this way. So this is safe. We can climb this way and head into this room. So be careful. There's a slope ahead and there's a crocodile in the water, so do be careful. Doesn't matter if you fall in, but you'll want to get out pretty quick. So as I was saying, I do want to not use med packs, so I might be a bit petty with my health at times. I might reload a lot, <laughs> but I want to save it because the boss can be tricky. So it's not so bad on this sort of the easier version, I guess. Uh, but anyway, the water here, there's a current because of the waterfall. So if you go in, you have to swim down quite low. So you don't get sort of just knocked back. Um, so you still swim against the current. But yeah. Um, so the idea is, if I can actually think about what I'm trying to say, we need to pull the two jump switches which are across the room. 
So the first one is actually a timer to be able to get to the second one. So we'll have to do this sequence I'm about to do twice so that we do get around to the second one. So we're going to be timed. I'll talk about, you know, the best ways to do things as I go along this first time to help you with the timer. So try and be to the far right of this, but sometimes Lara does a thing where she doesn't like to move right and left on ladders. So then you have to either drop down or reload if, you know, depending on the situation. But anyway, from here, you then want to uh, make sure you're in the corner. So forward step, right step, hop to the ladder. You'll shimmy twice without your footing, but then Lara does get her footing. So just shimmy over twice again with her footing, climb up four slots, come around the corner, and then just hop back. And for the second run, you'll want to hop to the pole. So st uh, running jump is needed for that. And then you'll land on a raised column in the water and be able to grab the second jump switch. So this is the one that's gonna start off the timer. So when you are ready. So the time is not too snug, but you do feel like you barely just get time to do it. Concentrating, sorry. <laughs> yeah, you want to be at about 15 seconds when you come around the corner. So that that means you're, you know, you're on time. And then running jump to the pole. Oh, I didn't mean to swing around. I wanted to hop straight off, but that's fine. No need to line up. Just jump straight off. You don't need to be all the way forward. So what the jump switch did was open up the two doors that are on this wall and there is a current so it's kind of a one-way system we have to come in that way go out the other way so next as i pull this lever we'll have another crocodile enemy in the water and mostly these days it gets me i found a strat where it didn't get me at all but that strat has since gone out the window i don't know why so i'm gonna save it here and hopefully, uh, well, if it does get me, I will just reload because yes, I am petty. <laughs> okay, so it will show us what it's doing and we can move while it's showing us. And the current will drag us out. There he is. Okay, Whew, it missed. So do two side steps and then just move forward while you're, you know, you can't see what you're doing. Did I get it? Yes, okay. So it showed the lever opened this door and we can grab this bronze lion key. So you've probably already noticed the keyhole that's right up here. That can be used here. Okay, and that's done a few things. So you see the flame up there? There was a door there, but now we can, um, the idea is we can get through to the monkey bars we can see on the ceilings or the, the long length of plants there. So the flame is actually on the other side of the door. The door was closed. I think you get the picture, the door's now open. Okay, <laughs> another thing it's done is opened up a secret that's back this way. I'm not sure if I mentioned these darts are not poisonous. So you don't need to worry, I'm just kind of trying to savor every little bit of health I can. So right by the roots, this has opened up and we can drop on down. So there's quite a few goodies down here as well as the secret item. So we have two pickups of Uzi clips, 
So careful with your positioning and that skeleton. You got some collision there that stops you picking it up. Oozies. And a med pack. And of course, very importantly, the secret itself. Okay, so careful around the corner. We have a blade trap. There will be another one. So I tend to get hit a lot on this one for some reason. Wh okay, thank goodness. So coming around to the far end to grab some flares. There is a lot of underwater collision. Some of it got removed as well. So it's better than it was. And then just here we just need to try and swim out of the gap. Okay. Just keep like shuffling side to side up and down if you're getting stuck. Okay and we are back in a familiar place. So before I make my way over to the monkey bars, there is one more thing to find. There is another TR-25 easter egg. So just follow round and try and make it into this little gap. If I don't survive... None of us will. So that one's cool, I like that one. Anyway, to get up, just climb up to here and then we can see this ladder once we turn around. So to get up... Okay, and then this is a slope ahead of me, so you just want to climb up and immediately just jump off and grab. So this leads us to this high balcony section. Okay, and when we're over the balcony, we can drop on down and then head over to this area. So once we make the jump over, depending on how we land, you'll want to do a roll. Maybe just hold down the roll button anyway, just to be sure. Because uh, I did fly quite far forward, but sometimes you will land right on this space and you want to get off as fast as you can. So let me show you what's what around here before I start doing what I need to do. Careful of the spike trap just there. So we have this little pool of water. There's a ledge up there that we can't reach from here. There's stuff we can climb over that way. There's also a door just there that's closed. So in order to get to two different areas, we need a rope. So I'm gonna work on that now. So come back to here where we entered and there is a ladder just by the spike trap. So, we can safely walk through this. I do recommend a save just in case you mess up the jump from the ladder because you will inevitably die. So I find it better being all the way to the right hand side and just being right below this black line. You know, Lara's hands being below the black line there. And then we can uh, flip back and grab this. If you were looking around you may have noticed these ledges like this that we can jump to and from. So this is where we use this new move. So come around this corner and again just jump on backwards. And then from here we need to be at this highest point just here. Awesome stuff. Then we can grab this. Okay, so just climb on up. We can just see behind there is a ledge we can jump to. So when we're high enough, just jump on back and we can pull this lever. Okay, and there we go. We have a rope. And you probably just heard the pitter patter of feet down below now. So we have a crocodile thing as well. So to get back down, you can just go ahead and drop from that platform. You'll take some damage, but to save my health, I'm gonna drop down this way. 
So dropping from the ladder here, you'll not take damage, but the uh, the lizard thing is going to get you. So this is as far as Laura's feet can go down. If I go down again, she'll not have her footing. So what I'm going to do from here, so be as low as you can with Laura's footing. Hop back and grab this. And then I'm going to shimmy around the corner. So it gives me a bit of space away from the crocodile. There we go. So that is just for the sake of not using med packs. <laughs> if you want to try the challenge yourself. Okay, it is down. And then we do just have a bit of a tricky jump up to this rubble. Just here. There we go, okay. And next, up to here. And the camera has changed, so this is a hint, so there's something over there. So what we need to, whoops. <laughs> what we need to do is just step back onto the highest part, step into the higher corner here, and shoot that. So it is kind of tricky, there we go. So that's where we're heading for. So just grab the rope, turn around, and we're aiming for the flat platform there. So do be careful with your swing because you can easily overshoot. So not too obvious, but we have monkey bars we can grab to help us get to this opening. And then just let go and grab. There we go. So another pit stop safe for me here for the sake of health. <laughs> Otherwise it really doesn't matter. So we have a little spider. I do just keep rolling on the spot. Oh, the big ones come out of nowhere. That wasn't supposed to happen. Oh, this has gone wrong. I'm going to reload. <laughs> I'm sorry. Not really. I rolled the wrong way and rolled onto the trigger. So don't roll forward. Roll this way. But be careful with your rolls. Somehow, I have rolled straight into the spike trap, just rolling back and forth like this. Okay. Yeah, I don't know how, but I've ended up in the spike trap, just rolling back and forth. So do be careful if you are following these strats. Now, ahead just around the corner to the left, we've already had a bit of a teaser. There is a big old spider. So what I do, I run back and forth, hitting the slope. Just keep on shooting. Always try and see where it is though. Where's it gone? And this is tough to do because of the um like the step ledge in front. Oh I'll explain what I mean. Ah, in a moment. I thought it was dying. It's dead now. Oh boy, that got exciting. So when I'm in the step ledge, this, like there is this, sometimes uh, depending on where you're running, you'll hit it and not be able to run over, you'll get stuck. So yeah, that, that can be tough. One more spider, just a little one this time. On this tile, there we go. I was trying to walk onto the tile. <laughs> them okay right and then walking through here because we have some spikes we can grab a med pack so careful of that active one there walk on through do not crawl through but this is a place for some forced damage once I pick this up tiny bit of health loss it's fine I will be okay but if you crawl through you will just take damage there 
So next I'm moving on to here. So just climb on up here. We will have some moments with some tricky jumps. So I do just keep on saving because I am a failure at jumping. <laughs> But from here, I'm gonna jump over to, you see the, uh, like a ladder texture on the wall, indicating that's climbable. I'm gonna jump over to there, but I'm gonna let go again because we will have some horrible, horrible batty locust things. So this is a, a tricky jump to make as well anyway. I'm, I'm really crap at these jumps. That's it. Because, well, we, we are done for now because the last two times I practiced, I got this straight away on like both jumps. Like two practices in a row. Right, there we go. So I'll let go and just duck. So ducking down minimizes your damage from these types of enemies. When I played Shalebridge Murder Mystery, that was an exception. I told you just sprint away, run, because they can still do so much damage while you are crouched down. So that's an exception. But usually uh, it is better to crouch. There we go, got it in one that time. Okay, and then just shimmy around the corner. We do have some spike traps, don't worry. So that one has now deactivated and we can drop down onto this space. So the other one is still active. We need to jump over that to the ladder. So I believe a standing jump can work, but I always do a running jump straight over. Okay, and across this balance beam. She got some mighty wobbles on her today. Oh my goodness, Lara. She usually doesn't play me up like this, but of course, I'm recording. <laughs> Alrighty. And then just turn around for this secret that's very sneakily hidden in this cubby. So not a tricky jump, but I'm going to save anyway. We do have some very tricky jumps ahead of us. So if you think that's tricky, there are trickier. <laughs> Hopping back, we're gonna jump, we need to do a running jump into the opening there. But this slope here behind me, or beside me, whoop, you see, kind of makes it tricky. Because then that's a small gap as well anyway, and I'm straight back down. Okay, try again. So it is pretty tough. There we go, I got it. Uh, so getting out of here can also be kind of tough. I'm gonna have another save. So if I'm too far left when I hop back, she hits her head which spins her a bit and then I've got the wrong angle to grab the ladder. If I'm too far to the right, Lara does the weird thing that she does in this game for some reason. She'll grab, but then she'll not want to move. Like if she's not got her footing sometimes, she just plays up. <laughs> So, and if you like try to play safe and crawl out of the gap, that bugs out too, so don't do that. <laughs> Just hope for the best. Something like that, okay. So we're grabbing this ladder so that we can get into this space just here. So if I try and help you get your bearings here, the little gap to my left, that's where I entered the room. Okay. So from here, we're gonna to jump to the top of the sloped column ahead of me. Gonna jump to the slope that's against the wall and then over to the ladder section that's on the far wall. I recommend a save, again. 
So tricky jumps, but not too tricky. I hit, did hit my head, so that's one thing that makes this kind of tricky. Okay, so I am kind of close to the right-hand side. I made it. Oh, somehow I turned around. How did that happen? If I told you I don't usually make so many mistakes, would you believe me? Okay, grab the ladder and climb up. Make sure she has her footing. There we go. Yeah, as I've said, if she's not got a footing here especially, this is a spot where she tends to play up. Like, she just does not want to move. She'll move up and down, but not left and right. So with your footing at the lowest part, just there, we are lined up. You see the flares? That's where we're going to jump over to. So go as far to the right as you can go, and then hop back via to the left, and you should land straight on this. Sometimes you might need to grab, but with that lineup, you should not have to grab. And then straight out, over to here, grab in the air, and here we go. So go ahead along the balance beam, and over to the lever that we can see in the distance, on the other side. You're being very well behaved on this balance beam, Lara. I am impressed. Good job, well done. Okay, once you're at the end, pull the lever. So we can enter this room, and in this room we have a water skin. I think this is a large, I never remember. Yes, it's a large. So in this room, what's going on? Uh, well, this door is open, and if I just show you what's out here, we are back at a familiar spot. Cool, okay. Oop. So, also in this room, we'll need to just move this. Okay, so that allows us to be able to climb up to a high ledge. And just go ahead and pull this lever. Okay, we now have a second rope and we can get to that new area. So again, this kind of tricky jump over the rubble. to save here because at the far end there is a spike trap. Okay, so make sure you have plenty of momentum. Nice. So the only way we can go from here is into here. And we're being shown the solution as we walk in. I don't believe that was in the original version, but you do figure it out anyway. So now I'm crouching down, we'll have some uh, locusty batty things here. <laughs> okay, so the solution, you can't see it. Or oh, just see it there, that's up on the wall. Um, but we have a movable block situation. So, 
That's why we've got the color codes as well. There's different colored tiles. So I'm gonna hop straight down to the bottom and start at the bottom. So believe it or not, this is in the wrong place. So it just show a picture of these little bell type things, which is green. So it's showing us, yes, this does need to be on a green flower symbol, but not this one. So you'll see what happens once it is in the correct position. Okay, see, we have that little sphere on top now. So that shows this is in the correct place. So now I will just go ahead and put this one in its place, which is actually where the other one was. If you are having trouble lining up as well behind these to push them, just press action when you're close enough and she should line herself up. Okay, so we are missing a third one. That's actually up there. So as we can see, this push block puzzle is on many levels and you've probably already seen a dark tile down in that lower section so dark tiles here and then a dark tile at the end so these raise and lower so I will just push this all the way to the end so it's close to that movable tile Okay, so looking at the picture that's, well, if I actually turn and look at the picture that's on the wall, you can't see too well from down here because of the uh, the ledge there. But we have a hand and a snake. We've done the bells, or at least we're part way to doing them. So the hand and the snake. So clearly, that's the snake. So this is the hand. This needs to go on the level above. The snake is on the wrong tile. We need to swap these over. So coming around the uh, the lady statue, I am going to push this. Lara sometimes goes funny there, just twist her around if she does. Push this onto the odd tiles here. These ones will raise. And then we are ready to move the tiles around. So I need to climb back up. So for, fortunately in this version two, so if I show you uh, the chain to move the tiles around to raise and lower the tiles is there. So that's kind of tricky to get to. And especially if you're playing the, for the first time, you're going to go there a lot. But fortunately in this uh, patched version, we have a shortcut. So we have to take the long way to get there. So I will do that now. Um, so to get back up, so take one step forward from the edge just there. So you can do a standing jump there and you can see we have some spikes so that just allows me to safely grab the edge and then I can shimmy. I will just pull this out one space so we'll need to move this as well onto the uh, movable uh, raising tiles. So making our way back to the beginning or there's a starting area Careful stepping forward here because that's a sloped tile. You can easily just step off and then slide straight back down to the bottom. So I didn't mention why we're doing the block puzzle here. So you see the jump switch ahead? That's, uh, we can't grab that. That's blocked off because there's that little fence wooden panel thing in front of it that's higher up. So that stops us getting to it. So we need to remove that. And I do recommend taking sort of, I have this thing where I seem to call them pit stop saves. <laughs> so take a pit stop save every so often in this room because you can easily just fall down if you don't mean to. Okay so running jump over to the first pole and then next pole then over to here and just sort of don't be too close to the wall because of the ceiling. The low ceiling can stop you you know making the distance to the next pole okay so just like so over to here and make your way to the end okay so before dropping down and pulling the lever we can grab a secret so it's actually kind of tricky to get to so standing jump over to this tile here, so you'll want to try and grab close to the wall. 
and then kind of a tricky jump up to here. This needs to be a running jump. There we go, grab this. And then we can grab this med pack as well. Nice. And to get down, just make sure you are lined up with the corner. Probably have a save. Yes, another one. <laughs> and press the roll button. There we go. And then from here, from the very corner, sidestep. Okay. And then again, aim for the corner. Awesome stuff. And then just drop straight on down to the chain. So this block has also moved out of the way. This is what creates the shortcut. So I'm going to try and get down without having an accident. Usually I do. I don't want to lose any health. Okay, so now I can move this bell thingamajig onto this raising tile, lowering, raising, whatever. And I need to just climb up to the level above now to sort the other two statues out. And actually, while there's no statue sitting right here, now is a good chance to try and grab a med pack. It's kind of tricky. This statue is still kind of in the way. So in the corner, there's a flat section and the med pack is just up on the, uh, the higher level, but it's the spike trap that makes it tricky. No, it got me. This statue is actually in the way. <laughs> I can't see what I'm doing. Right, I'll come back to that. I'll move this once so it's not in the way. <laughs> there is kind of, there's no line up, just don't be too close. Now I've moved the statue, I'm going to save it again. <laughs> Like almost twist around as well to the uh, the left to avoid the, the uh, spikes. So that's one way to avoid them. Just try and maybe veer. Nice. Okay, so try and do that roll as well. So that roll it kind of saves you if you're just not quite on a ledge. So that can save you if you're just barely making the jump. So that is tricky and you'll probably want to just leave it behind. <laughs> Okay, so from here, I am going to push the lady onto that little space on the right. Okay, so now I can pull the snake onto here. I'm gonna pull it all the way along. I don't need to, but for the sake of being able to move the lady statue and save you going backwards and forwards to the chain, you may as well. Okay, so that just creates space so we can push this. I 
actually I'm gonna push it from this way <laughs> in case I walk onto the spikes Okay, so now swapping over the uh, the blocks, lowering the blocks. Also careful when pushing and pulling the snake, that's much bigger than the others. If you try and get around it and push it from the back especially, um, like the tail kind of gets in the way and you get yourself stuck behind it. Okay, so the wooden panel has now been removed. It has been zapped away. So we just need to make our way back to the starting point. So if you did not yet grab that tricky med pack and you still want to give it a try, you can. It's possible with the statue still there. There's no need to like make sure it's not there. Okay, so careful with the jump, because you can easily slide down and make your way back to the bottom. You don't want that. Okay, so from the first pole, just turn around, and then you can swing over to the jump switch. So it's not shown what it's done once I leave this room, or at least if I turn around you might be able to tell. But let's just leave the room, we are completely done in here. Okay, just exit, and the door has closed behind us, we are completely finished. This door is open! So it's showing us there is the second water skin. Okay, so in this section, there are three of these spheres we need to shoot. We actually have to shoot them in order. Another place where I save a lot. Oh, dang it. That's why. <laughs> Okay, so once you're across, you can easily just, you know, shoot on down. You'll hit the slope and slide straight into some water. So shooting each sphere will release a wraith. So it's a good job to get your bearings here, know where the water is. And to get across here can be tricky. So once the block has gone into its cubby, that's when you do a running jump across. So once it's become well, I don't know how to describe it once it's stopped to one side. Okay, so the first sphere, did I say they have to be done in order? 
First one is here. Oh, a little too close there. <laughs> so it's tricky to try and sort of see what you're shooting just here. Okay, there we go. Okay, one down, two to go. So now head up the ladder so we can see a ledge behind us. I'm just going to jump behind. There is a med pack. I will come back for that. So there was a moving wall here as well previously on the harder version. That's now gone. We can drop down here for a secret. Okay, and then just climb back out. And after shooting that first sphere, we can come down here. There was a gateway blocking this off. This is another spot I feel like I want to save. Don't be too close forward as well when you're doing your running jump. Just hop back, you know, get your back against the wall to do a running jump. Don't walk all the way forward and then hop back because that can lightly get you. Um, but anyway, here is the water skin we're aiming to get, so clearly we're going to have to come back to this spot. So just climb up here, and it feels like we're getting a bit far away from the water. We're going to have to make some tricky jumps for this next one to avoid the next wraith, but don't you worry. So once I shoot this, this gate ahead will actually open up. That's the starting point, so you just see a wall, a lighter sort of golden kind of colour compared to everything else. It's not very gold, but in comparison to the blue. Um, that's a moving wall, which isn't moving right now, but that's the first one we encountered. Did I save it yet? <laughs> so we're way closer than you think to the water. Okay, get rid of the camera angle. Oh god, I don't know how I survived that. There we go, magic. All part of the plan. Okay, one more to find. So that's actually where that med pack is. My bad. Okay, there it is. So you'll just need to grab to, you know, climb up here. And once you shoot this, you can easily just drop straight on down into the water. This is the easiest one to do, but the weird thing is, don't get rid of the camera angle straight away because the wraith is coming straight for you. Um, if you are out of that camera angle, uh, the wraith will do damage. So if you hold on a moment, if it's like showing you stuff and things that's happening in the camera angle, um, the wraith is not going to damage you. So that's kind of handy. I'm also trying to think where did I have damage done to me? I can't remember. <laughs> it's fine. Where was my save as well? Right, this game makes me nervous. <laughs> there we go, that was the last sphere. So we can now go back and grab the uh, the water skin. Huh? 
and it's showing us some scales. I didn't really point those out when we were there. <laughs> but that's what we're doing now. So we're heading straight back to our main area. So there's two ways back. You can go back the way you came. I'll point out where that comes out when we get there. Or you can come this way. So where we shot the uh, the second sphere here, we are back at the start. So if you make your way back the other way, back the way you came to the third sphere, that drops you out right up there. You can just drop straight on down. Okay, so from here we have to get over the spikes. So there is kind of a raised block down below. I'm going to aim to land on that to minimize my damage. And I do tend to do a half tile jump. Oh, a bit of damage, but not too much, that's fine. You can take zero damage, so I know I didn't take all that much at all. So, we already know where we're going to fill up the water skins. But let me show you, how do we know how much water we need? So, here are the scales. There's one behind me as well. If we look up, there's four uh, wavy lines right up there. So we need four liters for those scales there. So what about the other ones behind me? If I come over this way, we can see two wavy lines. So we need two liters for those scales. So they have to be done in order. We can only get to the first one and then the second one. So the first one is for the four liters. So pretty simple. So fill up your, it's always, if you've got a small and a large water skin, it's always three and five liters. So fill up your small water skin with three liters of water. Then combine it into the five liter, put that in there. And again, fill up the small water skin. Okay, again, combine it, put it into the five liters. So that's full and we have one liter left in our small water skin. So now empty out the five. Okay, and then just put your one liter into the five. Keep that safe in there and fill up the small water skin with three liters. Awesome stuff combined. We have four liters. So just go ahead and put the three liters into the, the five liter with the one liter that's already in there. Bish, bash, bosh. Okay. But now we have to get up to the scales. So it's not tricky. You just kind of have to figure out you can come up here to get there. <laughs> but then the jump itself, you can easily hit the ceiling. So we're aiming for the low gap in the ledge. So where it turns into a slight V. Okay, I'll reload. I am also just way too lazy to want to climb back up anyway. <laughs> so I am hitting my head on the ceiling. It's so easy to hit your head. You see, I've done it again. There we go. So yeah, try and sort of, you'll need to jump out to the left side and curve around to the right. But once you have made it, go ahead and use the four liters. So that's opened a door down below, which has released a tiger. And if he gives you nonsense and runs around, just hang from the ledge. It doesn't take a lot to kill it but it really takes chunks out of you. This isn't the usual runaround that it gives me. Where is you? Seriously, where are you? I will 
will be most upset if it takes a chunk out of me. Like, it can't be dead. I know way did I kill it. What the heck? Okay. Well, it's gone. Magic. Ta da. Right. Um, so now we need two liters. Right, so this one is the easiest. Just fill up your five liter water skin. And combine it in your three liters, leaving us two liters in the five. Simples. So using the four liters opened up this door, so that allows us to get up to the next scales. You can walk across the ledge, but I do find it a little, you know, less risque to shimmy. Okay, we can see a new path has opened up in the water. Okay, so right here we have a new area to explore, so that will be for next time. So I think this video might end up quite long. I do try to, um, you know, keep the video's lengths equal, knowing that I'm probably going to speed up the block puzzle in sections. So sorry if this has been a really long part one. Uh, but anyway, <laughs> thank you for watching. I hope you're enjoying my walkthrough and I will see you next time. Take it easy.